Welcome back to Political News in full under the title Integrating Brains and Machines for a Better World. Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli witnessed the inauguration of the 27th round of the International Conference and Exhibition for Technology in the Middle East and Africa on behalf of President Adel Fattah el-Sisi. More details. Integrating brains and machines for a better world, Prime Minister Mustafa Medbouli witnessed the inauguration of the 27th round of the International Conference and Exhibition for Technology in the Middle East and Africa on behalf of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi. Speaking at the inauguration, Medbouli said the information technology field is a priority on the state's agenda. He said there is keenness to keep up with technological appliances as there is belief in their impact on the development sectors. Following the inauguration, Madbouli inspected a number of pavilions of the exhibition, including those of the Central Bank of Egypt and the Ministers of Justice, Education, Higher Education, Scientific Research, IT and Communications and Health and Population. The armed forces were also represented at the exhibition through the Unified National Network for Emergency and Public Safety. Madbouli also toured the pavilions of the Arab Authority for Industrialization and the Egyptian Space Agency, as well as the Financial and Digital Investments Company, which gave review of its activities in the field of digital transformation in the governmental sector and expansion plans in neighboring markets. Later, Madbouli held a press conference stressing that the Egyptian human element is of the best with regards to dealing with technology. He was speaking after the inauguration of a number of international companies working in the field of remote services in Egypt. He said Egyptian youth are the cornerstones of technological industries. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held a meeting with the Qatari Minister of International Cooperation, Lula al Khater, within the framework of their visit to ensure the delivery of the humanitarian aid to Al Arish and Rafah crossing border. Shukri called on the Israeli occupation forces to stop withholding parts of the aid or delaying its entry to create unbearable conditions to the Palestinian people in Gaza Strip. The spokesman of the Foreign Ministry, Ambassador Ahmed Abu Zaid, said that the meeting tackled the exerted efforts to ensure the access of the relief and humanitarian aid to the Palestinian people. Shukri expressed Egypt's deep appreciation for efforts of Qatar efforts to solve Gaza crisis and implement ceasefire. Both ministers also renewed their complete rejection of the displacement of the Palestinian people inside or outside the Strip. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri, along with the foreign ministers of the committees formed by the recent Arab Islamic Summit, began on Sunday a tour of the capitals of a number of UN Security Council member states. The aim of the tour is to boost efforts to end the Israeli aggression on Gaza and deal with the deteriorating humanitarian situation in the Palestinian enclave. Meanwhile, Saudi Foreign Minister Prince Faisal bin Farhan said that ministers from Arab and Islamic countries will visit China on Monday, on the first stop of a tour, aims at ending the war in Gaza. On the sidelines of a conference in Bahrain, in comments posted by his ministry on the social media platform X, Prince Faisal said the tour will be the first step in carrying out decisions reached at a joint Arab and Islamic summit held in Riyadh this month. The minister noted that the first stop will be in China, then they will move to other capitals to convey a clear message that a ceasefire must be announced immediately and led in aid. Health Ministry spokesman Dr. Hossam Abdel Ghaffar said Egypt receives 40 to 50 cases of wounded Palestinian children in Gaza. He argued that Egypt has not only received children but also women and elderly cases, adding that 35 ambulances with oxygen and mobile newborn intensive care units are at the borders ready to receive cases. This came as officials said aid continues to pass through the Rafah border crossing into Gaza.
An aid convoy from the Egyptian House of Zakat and Charity arrived at the Rapah border crossing with the Gaza Strip on Sunday. The convoy of 40 trucks includes medicine, food supplies and livelihoods materials. Al-Azhar said the convoy is to enter the Palestinian enclave later within partnership with the Long Live Egypt Fund under the slogan Partnership for Humanity. The statement said the convoy is the second of its kind by the Zakat House under the directions of the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmad al tayyib within Al-Azhar's help, Gaza campaign launched since the start of the Israeli aggression on Gaza.